Hamilton on your side is your local election headquarters. We are just over two weeks away from Election Day, and as we get closer, more polls will come out. But recently, there's been speculation on whether or not we can trust what the polls are saying. 10 on your side's Kagan Hughes spoke to political analysts to see if these polls are accurate. Polls provide a snapshot of public opinion due to the area and amount of people that are polled. One political analyst says you should take the results of these polls with a grain of salt. You should consider polls as what I like to call now cast, not a forecast, a now cast. It is a snapshot right here of a specific sample of people you're asking, right? So there, it, it could be different tomorrow if you have a different group of people. So long story short, um, they are fairly accurate, but there are discrepancies between polls. Each poll takes random voters from the community to try and get an accurate view of how people will be casting their vote. Polls do take into account what will take place and the likelihood of individuals uh, that will vote for a candidate. That's why you have predictions uh, from the polls that are fairly accurate. Even if they are accurate, both political analysts agree the real accurate numbers will be revealed on Election Day. You know that polls only are a prediction, but they don't actually win the election. Voters win the election. Now, while they help influence a candidate's strategies, they do not always impact a voter's decision. Right, they're collecting polling themselves because that helps to drive up donations, it helps to shape narratives, and then you have polls that are collected by uh, nonpartisan groups that are out there. But Dr. Eric Claville with Norfolk State University says that does not mean polls do not matter. Uh, there is this phenomenon that happens in the polling booth where you're there and you're voting, you're unsure about a candidate, and it's usually the last thing that you see or hear as an advertisement or have a discussion about that really pushes you to over uh, the point to vote for the candidate that you vote for. October 25th is the last day to request an absentee ballot by mail or online. Requests must be received by your voter registration office by 5 p.m. Kagan Hughes, 10 on your side.